Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your weather extreme video for Saturday, April the 14th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. we got a lot of weather to talk about, so let's just get right to it. The satellite image this morning shows that uh, we can see the thunderstorms moving across Mississippi and Louisiana as they move steadily our direction. At the surface, we have uh, the surface low over northern Missouri with a cold front trailing down along the Mississippi River just to the west of the Mississippi River that will be moving our way. In the upper atmosphere, we have a strong a closed low with a trough uh, over West Texas, and that uh, closed low over Kansas and Nebraska will be gradually moving up into uh, Illinois and Indiana here uh, over the next uh, 24, 36 to 48 hours. At the surface, you can see that temperatures are very warm with 60s across much of Alabama and even 70s across the uh, uh, a nice slice of the western sections of the area. And of course, the dew points are very high with readings in the 60s. There's a look at the radar image. Of course, the radar will be changing quite drastically, and I'm not going to even try to... Uh, uh, define all the, the watches and warnings that are in effect out there that extend uh, from this uh, as a result of this low. Uh, but the greens over much of the southeastern U.S. are flash flood watches. And there's storm reports from last night and early this morning from uh, the Storm Prediction Center. They had a good deal of severe weather with this whole system. And uh, for precipitation-wise, uh, we also have flash flood watch for just about the western two-thirds of the state of Alabama, if you divide it north-south, and um, uh, or divide it, you know, with a with north-south line. <clears throat> so that is a, a flash flood watch through this evening uh, for uh, much of the state. And uh, WPC has a moderate risk for uh, uh, heavy rainfall potential, which I think is certainly accurate. And then, of course, SPC has an enhanced risk covering just about uh, the uh, western two-thirds of the state of Alabama. There's a slightly closer look. Places like Huntsville, Decatur, Florence, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and uh, down into the Mobile area. All right, let's get to modeling. And here comes the front. Uh, this is for 18Z today, showing the front just basically uh, the weather just to our west. And that moves across uh, by midnight. It's got it, uh, or 1 a.m. Sunday, it's got it actually over the area. So it's going to be a slow mover. Uh, by Sunday at uh, midday, it's got uh, most of the weather out of the state of Alabama uh, as we're getting some wraparound moisture as a result of that uh, surface low over uh, northern uh, Indiana there. The upper atmosphere, that uh, really strong closed low comes by us uh, on Sunday uh, as it's making its way uh, towards the uh, eastern Great Lakes area. The Parameters that we look at, some of the parameters we look at, there's a look at uh, the CAPE values for uh, today. Uh, that's at 18Z, showing the values right along the uh, Mississippi-Alabama line. And then we notice that they do diminish as we get to, to around 1 a.m. on Sunday morning, and that's uh, kind of what we're expecting to happen. Let's also look at the Energy Helicity Index, which also incorporates uh, the uh, shear. And we can see that the values are very high, around 18Z along the western uh, areas of Alabama. And they do diminish as we get uh, to around uh, 21Z. Uh, they begin to diminish somewhat. So the, the whole line should be diminishing as it moves uh, eastward. So maybe not quite as bad as severe weather over the east uh, central sections. By uh, Monday, that system, uh, the upper atmosphere, is uh, reaching the Great Lakes, the eastern Great Lakes area, with the trough now across the mid-Atlantic states. And so, once again, that takes us out of the area, but we probably will see some cloudiness. And also, on Monday, uh, we're looking at, with that nice northwesterly flow aloft, we're looking at some pretty chilly temperatures. There's a look at the temperatures the GFS is suggesting. So we could have some patchy frost on uh, Monday morning. And again, uh, the possibility exists on Tuesday morning. By uh, Tuesday, we're beginning to come under a little bit of a ridge, but again, Tuesday morning could be a rather chilly morning once again. 
Uh, and uh, so we see a ridging uh, for Tuesday and into early Wednesday. But by midday on Wednesday, we see that uh, another closed low is coming across the northern tier of the United States. And this one will stay uh, well to our north thanks to the ridging. And uh, that looks like um, we'll see a front drag through our area. Now, the GFS here is suggesting on Wednesday that the front will come across the southeastern U.S. And that could uh, spell a little bit of light rain, as you can see. It's suggesting that uh, in the vicinity of West Tennessee down into eastern Texas. I think the atmosphere is going to be pretty dry. I think all we'll see is basically some clouds, but we'll be watching that for uh, updated forecasts. That system moves over into the eastern part of the Great Lakes, heading for New England on Thursday. And uh, so once again, uh, we get a little cool down, but not anything spectacular. And then ridging by Friday. So once again, the temperature is very, very nice. But now we're watching a much lower latitude uh, system coming out of the Four Corners area, and that comes out into, uh, uh, let's just call it uh, southeastern uh, Kansas there on Saturday. So SPC actually for day uh, seven, I believe it is, uh, has a um, outlooked area over east, uh, pardon me, western Texas and the western Oklahoma panhandle. Uh, for potential for severe weather. And this system looks like it could produce some severe weather. The surface map by um, Saturday shows the weather is not quite to us yet, but we do have a nice surface low over southwestern Missouri. Now, we're getting out into voodoo country, but that system does move by on Sunday, so it looks like late Saturday and into Sunday could be a bit stormy here once again. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, we do come under ridging on 23rd, but um, uh, once again, a nice chill down. But notice the big uh, uh, upper uh, closed low and the trough coming uh, across the western Great Lakes on the 24th. And uh, that system really digs into the mid-Atlantic states. That puts us under really good northwesterly flow. You can see the flow coming out of south-central Canada. So what the, once again, can, the GFS suggesting is going to be rather cold. And then once again... It sticks around through the 28th of April, so the latter part of April could be a bit chilly. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Be sure to stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's ever-changing weather with this severe weather situation. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Please stay safe. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.